My name is Robert Judson. Uh, I have my PhD and I am a postdoc in Boris Bastian's lab here at the Helen Diller Cancer Center at UCSF. I am a cancer cell and molecular biologist, so I'm basically studying uh, how to diagnose and treat melanomas. And so I, I certainly, for my research right now, the, the biggest hopes and dreams would be that they do successfully work to develop novel diagnostics and novel treatments uh, for melanoma patients. Yeah, I, I have my bench. That's where most of the molecular biology gets done. I'm also a cell biologist, so there's a, a called tissue culture room with um, where we can work with all the cells that we work with. I, I do a lot of scope work, and there's you know a lot of different types of very sophisticated scopes that I, I use wherever they are on campus. You know, the, certainly the day to day or month to month is, is very much driven by my own you know, desires and ambitions. So that generally means. Not at all nine to five, but significantly more than that. Um, but again, that's going to come down to what you're trying to get done and what type of experiments you're doing. Uh, in day-to-day -day practice, I think you know the, the reason I enjoy it so much is the the dichotomy that is research of sort of my initial interest in mathematics and philosophy. All right there, there is a strict objectivity to it where you you conduct an experiment so that you can know something for sure, something that hasn't been known before. If you do everything properly and do it right, you now know this one little thing. Um, figuring out how, how that works in with all the other things we know and, and how one can interpret that data is a very logical process, but also a very creative process. She grew up on a family-owned uh, sheep farm in central Pennsylvania. Um, so uh, that's what my, my mom and my sister and I uh, did growing up. Uh, my father does have a scientific background. He's a medical doctor in the area. Um, but uh, through, through high school, I wasn't really, you know, I, I was interested in science, but I can say I didn't really understand what research was. I, I guess what really sort of got me into it, at least in concept, right? In, in concept, you know, I, I grew up a huge fan of the Indiana Jones films, right? I wanted to explore, I wanted to discover. It took till college for me to realize that that's what science was, right? That we, and especially biology, right? We are, as an organism, just a, a massive, um, technology, right? We're a very finely tuned, amazingly functioning technology made up of thousands of smaller machines, made up of thousands of smaller ones. You need to be very curious. You need to love troubleshooting. Actually, I would say that's the number one. Um, if you're someone who needs to have something working well all the time, um, you know, it's said that it wouldn't be, if we knew what we're doing, it wouldn't be research, and, and that's the point. There's a lot of trial and error, a lot of a failure, but that failure uh, informing you on how to better proceed for the next series of experiments. Uh, if you are someone who feels rewarded by solving a problem at whatever level, then it's an incredibly rewarding career because you get to do that all the time. Mm -hmm.